Sveiki and welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson. Priecīgas lieldienas, everybody! Priecīgas lieldienas! What could we be talking about? This is how you say Happy Easter in Latvian. Priecīgas, you remember that word. Joyful, joyful, and lieldienas. Lieldienas. Now this is how we say Easter. It is also known as Lielā diena or the big day and you see that Lielā diena is what the Salikdenis Lieldienas has been made of. So the big days. Liels or in this case Lielā for the feminine is big and diena is day. So Easter in Latvian is the big days and that is because Days are becoming longer than nights, so the day is becoming bigger. Lieldienas. So even though going to church is part of the Latvian Easter celebration, there are also many other traditional activities that you can do to celebrate this day that I'm going to share with you today. So the first thing that's important to do on Easter is to wake up before dawn, thus ensuring the energy for the whole year. And once you have risen, you must lepato to the forest to bathe yourself in a stream that is running against the morning. Well, against where the sun is rising. The belief says that if you do this, you will ensure happiness, health and beauty, as well as the energy for the whole year. So those are pretty good reasons, I think. And if you don't have a stream running against the morning in your area, you can do what I'm gonna do, which is to wake up in the morning, turn the shower head against where the sun is rising, and then take a super cold shower. <coughs> this is the modern Latvian Easter tradition. After your Easter shower, it is also customary to put on a new shirt. Lildianus in the Latvian tradition was a very social event, with some possibly romantic beginnings included. So put on your new shirt. Another reason to wake up early is so that you can spank your relatives with pūpuoli. Now pūpuoli is a tree basically, it's branches of a tree that has little white puffs and its English name is pussy willow. So you can spank your relatives with pussy willow. Why? Well you know that Latvians like to spank each other for fertility. One week before Easter on Pupuol Svediena, which is how we call Palm Sunday from the word Pupuols or Pussy Willow, but also on Easter morning you run into the room where your relatives are sleeping and spank them with Pupuol yelling Apaļška Pupuols Vesels Karutks Slimība Ara Veselība Iekšā, which means round as a pussy willow Healthy like black radish. Black radish in the Latvian mentality is a very important vegetable for health reasons. When we're sick we put some honey into a hole carved in a black radish and then as soon as some juice has pulled up in the hole we drink it like cough medicine. As a child I really hated it but since I've grown up I actually really like the taste. So it's corona season, time for you to go and buy a rutks. Round as a pussy willow, healthy as a black radish, Slimi ara, sickness out, veseli iksha, health in. So yeah, this is 100% tested, 100% works to ensure the health of you and your loved ones. So yeah, give them a little Easter surprise this year. And if you don't have pussy willow growing in your surroundings, I found that you can buy them on Amazon too, although mostly plastic ones and some of them unreasonably expensive. But in case this is not an option for you, the ancient Latvians also had an alternative, which is way simpler. You just have to take branches from nine different trees. Whatever works for you. And if you are a farmer or if you have some animals living with you, the ancient Latvians also used to spank their livestock and even bees to ensure fertility. So nobody can escape the Latvian spanking. Another really important element of Easter is swinging on a swing. So while the daughters and wives were in the kitchen coloring eggs on Easter morning, the boys had to make a huge swing. And it is very important to swing on Easter because it ensures fertility and health and happiness. And there's a whole bunch of amazing benefits that come from it, but one is above everything. And it is so that mosquitoes and horseflies don't bite you in the summer. And I don't know where you're from, but in Latvia there's a lot of them. So every Easter we swing until we drop. Because horseflies are just the worst. 
As you're swinging, it is also important to swing as highly as possible because the higher you swing, the better the harvest or the fertility of whatever is important to you will be the next year. Just be careful because also every year in the Latvian news sites, there are stories about people who have broken their limbs while swinging. So it is important to follow tradition, but not when it harms you. And after you're done swinging, it is important to burn your swing so that the witches don't get to swing as well. No, no, just kind of a shame because it means that they will be bitten by horseflies all year. The swing is also an important social space on Easter because everybody needs to swing on Easter. So a lot of families gather together and there are a lot of opportunities for interaction. Some customs related to that include if a young girl likes somebody, this is her opportunity to show him that by going on the swing with him. Affection is also shown by gifting colorful eggs to one another, so exchanging your colored eggs. The ancient Latvians always had a lot of eggs ready for this occasion because it is also believed that the more eggs a housewife colors in a year, the better the harvest will be the next year. And speaking of colored eggs, you don't just eat them, obviously. There's a lot of specific customs related to eggs and egg eating in Latvian Easter. So apart from exchanging with eggs, you also have a lot of games that you can play with eggs. One of them, and my favorite thing to do on Easter, is called egg rolling. So egg rolling works like this. You take a plank and you put it in like some kind of angle, not too steep so that the egg doesn't roll off it too quickly. And you put a lot of eggs in the grass in front of the plank. And the idea is that you have a basket that has like, let's say, three eggs inside it and you roll your egg in hopes of hitting another egg. It's kind of like curling, but with eggs. So the egg that you hit, you can take along with your egg and now you have four eggs instead of three. But if your egg does not hit any other eggs, then you lose your egg and wait for your next turn. As a child on Easter, I went to the open air ethnographic Latvian museum where they had set up this game with wooden eggs. And I can tell you somewhere in my parents' collection, there's video footage of that day when you cannot get me away from that game. It is so cool. So I suggest you try it on Easter. Your kids will love it. And another very important part of Easter is called egg battle. And yes, as the name suggests, this is no time to be friends with people. This is war. Okay, so how does this work? You take an egg and your friend takes an egg. I have no friends this Easter. So basically you're gonna hit them one against the other and see which egg is stronger. But be careful, you need to hit the pointy ends towards the pointy ends and the fat ends towards the fat ends. So as you prepare for this, put all of your empathy aside. As I said, this is important business. He who has the strongest egg will live longer. So pick the strongest egg. And also usually how we do this is that one person holds the egg and the other person hits it. So, and then you, then you hold them, say ready, and hit. Oh, the green egg is so fragile. Don't despair, all hope is not lost yet. You still have the other side. So on the second round, the person who got hit hits the other person back. So let's see if the brown one will survive the butt of the green egg. It didn't. Complete failure for the green egg. I guess the left side of my body will have a shorter life than my right side. If your egg has won, keep it safely. Don't give it to anyone. It's your lucky egg now and you can fight other battles until it also gives out. Egg battling is such an important and popular part of the Latvian Easter tradition that the old Latvian Facebook, the dinosaur of social interaction on the internet, Draugiemelve had a game called Egg Battle where you had virtual eggs and you would battle with your friends. And I, I, I even think that I'm still on there. If you win and crack their egg, then you kind of take their egg and put it in your basket. So if you want, go to draugiem.lv, register, so we can battle. Then related to egg eating, the first egg that is eaten in the household must be cut by the man of the house into as many pieces as there are people in this household. This will ensure harmony and lovely times ahead for everybody. And it is very important to eat your egg with salt because it is believed that he who eats his egg without salt on Easter will lie the whole year. So spy with your little eye to see who in your household 
takes no salt. So yeah, these are the traditions that I wanted to share with you for this Easter to hopefully make it more Latvian in spirit. Hope you found this video useful and that you're gonna try to implement some of these. And above all, I wish you all Prietigas Lildienas. Prietigas Milas Jautras Joyful Lildienas. Thanks for supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you soon maybe. Bye!